Is it just me, or do you find that St. Patrick's Day is kind of like Valentine's Day for whiskey lovers? And just like Valentine's Day, when you got to pull out all the stops to treat your other half, on St. Patrick's Day, you got to pull out some top-notch Irish whiskey to treat yourself. And today, for me, that is the Matt Darcy 10-year-old port cask finish. What about you? I'm Big Al and welcome to Whiskey Street where you can join me on my spiritual odyssey through the wonderful world of whiskey. And if you'd like to be part of that journey, please smash that like button down below, click subscribe, and while you're at it, don't forget to ring that bell notification. You know you want to. And that means you won't miss out on any future content and we can continue to share our whiskey journeys together. So why is this whiskey special? Well, it is in several ways. Let me explain. First off, just look at the fantastic presentation. A lot of thought has gone into this and it's very impressive. From the eye-catching red cover in the presentation box to the way it opens up and displays the history of the Matt Darcy Company, dating back to 1817 and its rebirth in 2019. And this little wood engraved plinth is a particularly lovely touch. I really like it. Last year it won a couple of key awards, a gold medal at the San Francisco Wine and Spirit Awards and a silver medal at the blended Irish whiskey category of the Las Vegas International Whiskey Competition. But I'll I hear you saying that's all and well but is the whiskey itself in any way special? Well let's find out. First of all, it's a blend of malt and grain whiskies. It's bottled at 46% ABV. It's non chill filtered. It was aged in American oak casks, finished in port casks, and the recommended retail price is around 50 quid. Now that is if you just want the bottle itself. If you want it with the, the presentation cask, or the presentation case even, you're gonna go into the mid 60s. So as you know, the proof is in the pour. If you've got a dram of this, please pour yourself one, we'll share it together. If not, please pour something, particularly Irish if you have it, and we'll have a nice wee drink together and go through this, break it down and see if it is really special. So let's start off on the nose. It's lunch Oh, on the arrival, it's immediately very, very nice. Honey, grain, malt. And there's a very definite barley sugar note. Remember those barley sugar sweets? Really nice, very pleasant. I haven't had them in ages, but this would make you want to have more. Go back into the shop. Well, back in the day, it was like, give me a quarter of sweets. Fucking quarter of sweets now, probably give you one or two. But anyway, let's get on with it. Now that leads into a lovely, rich oak aroma and it's almost velvety on the nostrils. It's really, really nice, silky smooth. And you know what's even more nice about this? I'm also getting some dank, dark, wet oak, some earthy elements. And you know how much I like that. Now it's not up with whiskies from my favourite distillery, Edredur, in that respect, but it is distinctively there. Not just as a parent, but it is there. And there's a nice, rich maltiness that also remains as well. All in all, this is really really lovely on the nose. It's nicely balanced between the sweeter elements and those darker elements. I have to say, I really like this on the nose. So let's delve into the palate and see how it fares from there. On the arrival, spicy dried fruits, 
potpourri. And as it sort of develops across the palate, there's a, a rich, almost creamy element that comes into play. It's like a malt and a light chocolate note that just blend nicely together again with that little bit of perhaps nutmeg spice. Quite a lot on that first sip. The sweet spice, it remains. It's tempered down slightly on this second sip, but as the oak starts to emerge again, it brings with it a rich, creamy mouthfeel. And you know what? It really lingers. It lingers nicely. It keeps that rich creaminess. It keeps that gentle spiciness. And you know what? It's really, really impressive. This is a damn good whiskey. I'm really enjoying this. Now, a wee bit of contrast comes into play. Here's where you get the red berries. The port finally comes into play here. The wee bit of sweetness, some dried fruits, and then as it develops over the palate, as it transitions, there's milk chocolate, but it's high-end milk chocolate. It's chocolate with a nice, runny, liquid, red berry filling. Top-end stuff. Really, really nice. Now on the finish, it's a mix of red berry filled chocolate and gentle, spicy, dried fruits. And then that ends in a nice, full-bodied, full mouth coating lingering finish with a wee bit of oak and chocolate but what's really nice about it is as that finish lingers there's wee ping 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 spots of that red berry runny fruitiness going on that just pops in and gives it that nice wee bit of a contrast, but it's very well balanced. Overall, this is a really fantastic whiskey. Typically, I haven't been really overly fond of port cask finish whiskies before, but this one bucks that trend, and thankfully so. What I particularly enjoy about this whiskey is that dark, danky element of a good dirty whiskey and you guys know that I love a good dirty whiskey. Now with that said it's not right up there at the high end of a good dirty whiskey but there is an element of that in here but what it does here it perfectly balances itself with the aspect of sweeter fruity elements and a wee hint of spice and I really do love it and I can tell you one thing more there will be more of this I know it's pretty available throughout Northern Ireland it may not be so much widely available anywhere else but I tell you what if you get the chance to pick this up do it you will not be disappointed so in terms of the score I'm going to give this 92 I really love this whiskey. It's well done, it's balanced, it's contrasty, and it hits the spot on so many levels. So with that said, thanks again for your ongoing support, folks. I really, really appreciate it. There's been a bit of a surge in subscribers over the last couple of weeks. And you know what? It really means a lot to me. And... What means a lot to me even more is if a couple of people have come on board and they've joined my Patreon. And you know what? It means even so much more to me. So cheers to you, Mike. Cheers to you, Neil. If you want to join them in there, you'll get, well, exclusive content. You'll get early content. And we can all have a wee bit of crack together. That's... A wee bit different from what you get here just on the reviews on YouTube. So, until next time, folks. Thanks for hanging out. 
please look after yourselves, look after each other, and keep on drinking your whiskey the way you like it. And you know what, for St. Patrick's Day, one little tip from a guy over here in Ireland. Watch out for the bloody leprechauns. They're a fucking trip hazard. You heard it here first. Pay attention. Slauncha. Thanks for watching, folks. I really do appreciate it. Please check out these other reviews. And if you'd like to support the channel, the best way is by subscribing, liking, and commenting. And don't forget to ring that bell for all video notifications so you don't miss out on any future content. Cheers.